Good evening, welcome to Palmerston Park and Fries for tonight's uh, first division match between Queen of the South and Falkirk. The team shows no changes from Saturday. Falkirk line up as follows Robert Lesnick, Ross Perry, and Mark Twaddle, Brian McLean, Tam Scobie, and Burton O'Brien, Mark Stewart, Mark Miller, Carol Finnegan, Tam McManus, and Jack Compton. And on the bench for Falkirk tonight are Murray Wallace, Pedro Matinho, Stuart Murder. Callum Higginbottom and Jamie Barclay. So off we go then, and Queen's lump a long ball forward, and it's straight out of play to a throw to Falkirk. So McKenzie takes the ball deep into the Falkirk half. We've got a jersey tug in there, and, and it's at number 11 for Queen's, which is Willie McLaren, lofts in, and it's won by uh, Queen's, but comfortably saved by a legend. Oh, a silly oh my. throw out. Puts um, Perry and uh, Button O'Brien into trouble. And referee has seen enough. And That's it's quick a very, work. very early booking. Just a matter of minutes played, two minutes. That makes it difficult for yourself if you're the referee now. You've set a standard, don't you? You have as early on, but he wasn't happy about that early tackle by McKenna. And that's him. The options, the wide player is Compton. And he wins that ball. Looks for McManus. Back to Perry. Perry lost it into the middle. And oh, oh and a chance. Header, a chance. That was a chance, yep. Yeah. Through number 11, who's Willie McLaren. Scrappy period of play just now. Mark Miller trying to settle things down. That was a silly kind of tackle. He followed through with his feet, and yet another booking for Mark Miller. He's comped and he's a chance. Down the falk at right. He's going to run at his man. And he hits in a low ball, which oh. is a dangerous ball. And it wasn't far away from Finnegan. Stewart wins that one, but it's hooked clear. Goes into that one to Stewart, but he collides with number six, Ryan McGuffey. Chance now for Queens. And, and there's a volleyed shot by the centre. Good play. Derek Holmes was not far away. So a throw in to Falkirk. On wide on the right, it's into Mark Miller, who lofts the ball forward. McManus wins the knockdown, and it's just, just away from Finnegan. Oh, here we go. Here's Queens on the attack now with Burns. And he lets fire a Lesnick, just beats it out. That was a good shot by Burns. Again, McMenamin throws himself forward, but it's another cross ball. And there was a real chance. Headed forward, but McLean heads it back only as far as Queen's attack down the left. And oh, I thought he got the ball there. That was, uh, a, he's going to book him. Well, that looked okay. I thought he got the ball there. I thought he got the ball. I thought so he got the ball clean way there. Three bookings. The, the, the Falkers support you shared a card down with. See me agree, Michael. <laughs> Three bookings in the first 15 minutes. Two of not, them to Falker. Not a particularly bad tackle amongst them. So down the line. Two Falker defenders. O'Brien on McLaren. McLaren trying to play. He gets the ball. And there's a header, and there was a really best chance of the evening. And now Mark Stewart, the first chance he's really had to run with the ball at his feet. Make him bring you down, make him bring you down. Oh, and it's a poor, poor pass. But that ball broke to yeah, one now. who turned it in. <laughs> and there's no flag, the referee's awarding that. Took a deflection off somebody in the middle as it came through. Incredible two. goal. Mark and Stewart played the ball, it was a bad one, it bowled about, and there was McManus in the six-yard box with acres of space. That's why he's a striker, isn't he? He knows where to stand. That was the I don't th I don't predator's think he, instinct. I don't think you could believe that it came to him, though, could you? I don't think anybody can believe that. That's that's what you call against the run and play, Michael. I think if you're a Queen's supporter, you'd be, you'd sick be just now. rather miffed by that. My word, he's running with the ball. And he's moving forward to Compton. He's got three players around him and they know he can only come inside. Compton's done really well there and he's taken That's a yellow game card, ref. By you got to book him, ref. Paul Burns. That was as bad a tackle as any How's that? Others. How's he not in the book then? Now, that's what players do not like is the inconsistency. Uh, to be fair, I don't think any of them have been bookings, but if but you're going to... Mind you, if he kept going the way he was, it'd be five aside by the time half-time came, Michael. He's just having the proverbial lecture. And uh, all the usual suspects are in the box. Headed clear by Queens, only as far as Mark Oof, Miller. Good strike, son. It's Carol Finnegan eh, on the arm, I think. Good ball. Now, lovely ball there, and that just, just eluded 
Willie McLaren. That was a good pass, Michael. Good pass. Weatherson struggled to control that one, and now Falkirk through Finnegan. He's got Twaddle coming, coming outside him. Up outside him. They're asking a lot of him, but he gets there, and corner. the ball comes off. Reed good play. Corner kick. Well, must be an injury because it can be tactical because he's been their best player. Falkirk fans can hardly believe their luck. That guy was causing all sorts of damage to make a run, being blocked there. And it's above Finnegan, falls to McManus. Finnegan plays it back out to Mark Miller. Left-footed cross into the box. A good header by Mark Stewart, but just off target. Good play again. That was a chance, Michael. Yes, that'd have to go down as a chance. The game's lacking in atmosphere a wee bit, Tony. Maybe that's... They're giving the crowd figure as 1,270. I think the fact there's only about 70 Falkirk fans, probably. <laughs> Even the young team isn't here tonight. No, no. Mind you, it's past their bedtime. Oh, oh, oh. I hope you got that on camera, Russell. <laughs> That's the third eye. <laughs> Allegedly. <coughs> All the way back to Twaddle. Twaddle right foot inside to Mark Miller. Back to Burton O'Brien, it feeds into McLean. McLean coming forward now, he lets go a low ground shot which wasn't far away. <laughs> Headed clear. Mark Stewart now running at the Queen's defence. Oh, oh there's a brought foul. down by Reid, that's a yellow that's card. That's a yellow card. That's a yellow card. Through McMenamin. Finnegan busting a gut to come back in, and he's, he's managed to foul him. Oh, and there's an exchange there by McMenamin and Finnegan. Hands were raised. That's got to be a red card for McMenamin because Finnegan didn't do anything. Finnegan, no, he took exception to Finnegan's challenge. And the referee's calling them over. The red card is usually in the back pocket, so we'll watch closely. Yellow for Finnegan. How can Finnegan get booked there? Now, what's it going to be? McMenamin booked as well. Weinsman was no more than five yards away and there were definitely a raising of the hands. And Finnegan didn't even retaliate. And he wasn't booking him for the original tackle. <laughs> Finnegan got to watch what he's doing here. There's a I don't think he fouled him, I think the boy bit. bit. <coughs> and he's clattered to the ground by McGuffey. And on the Queen's bench there's somebody pulling on a jersey. Oh, that's As a good free ball. Kick comes in and it misses everyone and goes by for a goal kick. When they're chasing the game, though, they're playing with three at the back, so why not just push Stuart up one and go here's man a, for man here's on a them? Chance for Queens lofted into the ball. Save. Well saved by Robert Lesnick and a save from McGuffey. So a free kick to Falkirk, taken by Ross Perry. It's into the 18 yard box, looking for Finnegan, but he loses that one to Reed. Carmichael hooks it clear, it's caught by Mark Stewart who lets fly a low ground shot, but it's well wide of Mackenzie. So in comes the corner, and Queens get to the ball first, it's headed back in. A hook shot there by David Weatherston, he goes for another corner, no. no I didn't think that was a corner either, to be fair, Michael, I, I thought that from was. the angle I've got. Well, and we'll see if Pedro can do what he hasn't done in any of his games since his return, and that's give us a wee bit of magic. So Lesnick's goal kick looks for Finnegan. He was getting held there. Now Mark Stewart making progress down the left wing. Rides two tackles and he's still going. Reed's coming across but Stewart has it. Crosses in looking for potential and it's a corner kick on that far post. Then they break. Mackenzie misses oh! that one and it's headed down into the ground and over. That was a chance. That was a chance by That's Brian. That's probably McLean. the best chance of the second half. Roddy McKenzie made a complete mess of that one. The goal was gaping, but he headed it down and over the bar. That's what they train them to do as well, head it down. But The long journey up the road will be made all the better if we can hang on for three yeah. points here, Tony. Don't jinx it. And oh, cleared off the line. As I said, don't jinx Burton it, Michael. O'Brien. That nearly was it. Good defending by O'Brien. Good defend, good captain's role there, kicking that one off the line. There you go. I'll see Mark Stewart move up front. Yes, 
which isn't a bad move because he hasn't done very much in centre midfield. Stuff no, he, he certainly doesn't look as an effective a player in the middle of midfield as he does when he's chasing balls through in a striking role. Ports. Compton then comes inside. A low Ooh. ball just outside of Moutinho. Mar Mackenzie spills that. And Scobie telling him to get the ball forward. Pedro chests it down. He's in the box. This is a chance. Plays it low and it's just hacked clear by a Queen's defender, Harris. Well, well done, Brian. Clear by McLean, only as far as McLaren. He beats Miller, but it's cleared by O'Brien to Murdoch. Here's a break on yes. for Mark Miller. He's on his own. He tries a volley with his left foot, but it's past McKenzie's post. The one or two with the home support have seen enough. They think the game's over. And over it is. So there we have. Not for the nervous, but a win is a win. <laughs> Man of the match, Michael, for Falkirk. Man of the match, I think, Mark Miller. Yeah, I'd have to agree. Tremendous energy. End to end. And apart from his booking, he can be well pleased with the evening. I don't think it was the greatest of games, but... But the second half performance alone, Falkirk well deserved it. Queens threatened an awful lot in the first half, but they didn't take their chances. And when Derek Holmes went off, I think that was the end of their main threat. Yeah, I'm sorry, I was only half listening as the fans are singing. There's only one Stephen Presley. <laughs> that one, I hope you were listening to that, <laughs> Gordon Prophet. <laughs> so there we are, 1-0 for Falkirk, three points, and that road back up will be a lot happier and brighter with that little win under our belts. Mm -hmm.